Welcome to Lifestyle After Fire Reinvent Yourself. I'm your host, Ali, along Floor with Lord Shu. What's good? So, are you feeling tired, sluggish, and you have a trouble concentrating? It could be you're not drinking enough water. You need at least two liters per day to, to be healthy, to be able to think and concentrate. I, I don't know why people, what people have against water. When you really think about the concept, you were liquid before you have bones and everything develop out of liquid. Exactly. You weren't born solid. You were born liquid. That's a key point right there. 25% of your body is fluid. It's literally water. water. Exactly. Is it 70, 70 to 80% of your body is water? Yep. Yep. It's so at, at least 70. Thinking, at least 70. Yeah. Was it three fourths of the whole earth is water? Water. And we haven't discovered that. <laughs> <laughs> at least so, you yeah, can discover yourself Shit. stay hydrated it's very dangerous especially as these temperatures in certain places hitting well above 100 degrees yeah you it's must right. stay hydrated fortunately uh today watching this episode we're gonna get into the importance of hydration so shout out to ali for being here with me today get hydrated man gotta yeah. get it in you this, this is a part of our journey too, you know. I'm not gonna sit here and act like all my life I've been an avid water drinker. This is something that mm -hmm. I didn't really tap into until my older age, if I'm being honest. So y'all stay tuned, please. If you uh, love what we are doing on our channel and y'all a part of our journey, like this video, leave us a comment, let us know how we are doing in this and let us know where you at in your journey. So let's get into importance of hydration. So. Like Ali said, water is important for you to not only be more active, but also your mental state. Um, it improves digestion, enhances your skin. I mean, you name it, water pretty much helps you do that. Um, it's almost imperative to drink water because in the process of healing, growing, uh, and the things that we mentioned before that it helps in those processes. I mean, you gotta get water to your cells so they can properly build all of your major organs, skin, uh, stomach, everything. So I'll give you some examples of proper hydration. Like um, they have these, well, first just water. Water is great. So I recommend spring water. Can't go wrong here. Soda um, is not hydration. Yeah, yeah thank you. Um, thank you for saying that, man. Because all y'all out there drinking Baja Blast every one to two days, y'all are beer. beer so. Yeah, no beer, beer. wine, liquor. I know what you're thinking. Oh, but it's made out of water. Beer is made from water. Nah, bro. It's not the same. You know, no. I mean, you might could get away with some tea. But if, we, if we're if we being for real, just straight plain water is good. Um, the thing that makes water good is it, it filters... It helps your body filter out a lot of toxins, but also it, um, when you're drinking water, right? The main, depending on what type of water you drink, the main components that are in water, like spring water or, uh, well, I don't really do the alkaline water, you know, we can go into a whole another episode with that, but, uh, just spring water is good because there's natural sediment that's in this water that your body needs like magnesium, uh, zinc, things like that are in the in that water. So you wanna drink water to help get those small minerals that you normally couldn't get eating food and also to help filter out the toxins in your body. And uh, another thing that I wanted to add before I pass it off to my dog, Ali, is that when you're drinking, um, water the point is hydration which is why i mentioned spring water so they do have things that you can add to plain water like if you've got purified water they have these packets that have electrolytes in it. so that's the main reason why you want to drink water is for electrolytes natural electrolytes though. but you can go to walgreens or cvs and add this to your water as well so i just wanted to say that to help y'all out you know people who have problems just drinking plain water they have flavored electrolyte packets now so so why are we telling you about drinking water and just reinvent yourself? That's common sense. Everybody know you should drink water. Why are we having this conversation? Because so many of you fall out from heat stroke and not drinking enough water. 
<laughs> so we got to tell you over and over again. Hopefully it'll register it'll, it'll sink in. And even for myself, I I sometimes don't drink enough water, so that's why I keep a water bottle along with me. That that makes sure I at least get that's what about a half a gallon of water in a day. I know if I drink that, that's a half gallon of water. So tips for staying hydrated. First and foremost, I like to eat my water. What do I mean by eat my water? Mm-hmm. Watermelon. If it's the season, mm-hmm. watermelon, cantaloupe, when it's that season. So practical advice for increasing your water intake. Like I stated earlier, carry that water bottle around. Don't carry that little mini thing either. That's like eight ounces of cup. I mean, you got to keep refilling. Nah. Get you one of these big things, yeah. big one, half gallon. And put it, especially, put it down, especially if you're working out or in, in heat. In, in, or in, in a uh, you know environment where you're moving a lot in, in, in heated environments use a water tracking app they do make them for oh, your phone yeah. keep track of your water if you can't tote the big jug around yeah get, get a, put an app on your phone write it down uh, drink every hour every 30 minutes whatever it takes to remind yourself drink a glass of water before every meal and snack Actually, that'll help you lose weight, too. Exactly. Yeah. Keep a bottle of water at your desk, in your bag, for easy access. And set your hydration goals. Compete with somebody. Set a goal. Hey, if you can drink two gallons, uh, I'll drink. I, you drink one gallon, I can drink two. But be careful. There is a such thing as drinking too much water, and you can drown yourself. Yes, you can drown yourself yeah. drinking water. Don't try to choke down water too fast. Sip on it. Take your time with it. It's a giver of life, and it will also take your life if it's not done properly. <laughs> <laughs> it can't Yeah. yeah but no. It's very, I mean, very, water is beneficial no matter what your age is. All age groups is welcome to take this challenge and to drink water. Yeah. And stay hydrated, people. So, seven days is a good amount of time, I think, for us to do a challenge. So, I challenge everybody who watching for the next week after this episode comes out is to drink water. And if you want to keep track of us, we will be making reels showing us drinking water. He's saying, saying, hey, mine. where you at? Look, he already ahead. I got mine near me, but I ain't. Hold on. Let me go ahead and take a sip. Since we on, we on tape right now. The, the challenge started right now. So don't, we ain't playing. All right. All right, it's officially started. So don't be a sucker. Get in on the water challenge. Turn up with us for the next seven days after this. Started today. Exactly. It's now now or never. Because at least if you die tomorrow, you know, at least you drink some water today. So (laughs) (laughs) if you die tomorrow, they're just going to bum all the water out of you. I know that's the crazy part about all of this. We like (laughs) drink water. Then they're going to dry you out, man, like a mummy. But we are interested in all of our people in that join us on the water challenge. So depending on where you see the set and the reels, make a make a reel, you know, off of what we're doing, showing that, you know, hey, lifestyle to five, we drinking water with you and tag us. We're going to share it on our profile. Yeah. Tag us lifestyle. Yeah, join, to five. Yeah, join the challenge with us. Yeah, this it'll make it fun for me and you. I mean, we, we have fun doing this anyway. It's just being us. But. The more the merrier. So drink your water. It's fun. Like, subscribe, put some comments. Let us know how you're doing on your water challenge. Yep. And if you're having problems or you need solutions, as always, you know, me and Ali are here to offer that. Um, please, in this corner, on this side, as you can see, we got our Discord. If you want to get live and direct with us and actually do the water challenge with us, then join the Discord, scan the QR code. We love to see you in our Discord and have fun with us there. We're going to try to encourage all the people in our Discord to join us on this water challenge, too. So you will not be alone. Okay. Until next time, we'll give you more fitness tips. Until then, enjoy your water challenge. Peace, y'all. Be back next episode.